Hey, it's Matt. Welcome to Practice Perfect University. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Practice Perfect so you're ready to start sending OCF 18s, 23s, 21Bs, and Cs to HKI directly from Practice Perfect. This is part one. Let's get started. Step one The very first thing you need to do is ensure that you've obtained a facility number, a username, and a password from the HKI website. Please note that this tutorial is geared towards setting up Practice Perfect for HKI. You'll have to set up your actual HKI profile on your own. Registration involves identifying your practice management software. Practice Perfect is known to HKI as InTouch, and you'll have to choose InTouch as your practice management software as you're registering. To do so, log into HKI at hki.ca and select the Manage tab, followed by Facility Management. Take note of the HKI submission method in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Check off Yes to inform HKI that you'll be using a practice management software to submit your electronic claims. Enter InTouch in the PMS Vendor field, and enter your username in the PMS Username field. The password will be automatically generated afterwards. Write it down, because you'll need it in a moment. Please note that the username you enter here cannot be the same as the username that you use to log into HKI. Step 2. You will also need to install the HKI Toolkit in order to submit invoices to HKI from within Practice Perfect. Please contact our support department for assistance with this step. Step 3. To access the HKI invoice settings, select Settings and AISI slash HKI invoice settings from the menu bar. Take note of the tabs in this screen, General, Fees, Diagnoses, Providers, and Payers. The Location section includes a list of all your facilities. You may need to fill out the following information per location, and you can flip between them by simply clicking on the name. Now under Facility Settings, input your AISI facility number. If you don't have an AISI facility number, skip down to the next field. The AISI facility number is only required if you plan on submitting paper invoices. Input your HKI facility registry ID, followed by your HKI PMS username and your HKI PMS password. This is the same username and password mentioned in Step 1. HKI Check Payable 2 should contain the entity to which the payment should be made. This must match the entity listed in your HKI profile. Use the Signatory Signature field to record the name of the individual who is authorized to sign your HKI invoices. This field is only required for AISI paper invoice submissions and may be skipped if you're submitting electronically. Click OK to store this information. Step 4. Once you finish inputting the information in the General tab, click on Fees. In order to submit your invoices to HKI for reimbursement, you must pair your fee codes with the corresponding codes outlined by HKI. If you are unsure of which codes to use, then please visit the following webpage. You will then be able to find the corresponding codes in Steps 3 and 5. Diagnosis codes can be found in Step 3, while the Goods and Service codes can be found in Step 5. Unlike the General tab, the data entered in the Fees tab applies to all of your locations and will only need to be filled out once. This list is comprised of the fee codes that your clinic has created. The fee is the name of said codes, and the rate is the price that you assign them. In the AISI HKI Category column, select the category that the code belongs to on the HKI form. Simply click the small black arrow to reveal the list of options. Note that any fields left blank will default to not specified, and a selection must be made. In the OCF 21B column, pair the corresponding HKI CCI code with your internal fee code. If your internal fee code is already the same as the HKI CCI code, then don't worry about entering anything here. By the way, it's okay if the same HKI code is entered for multiple fee codes. 
you may disregard the OCF 21C code column as it is left blank more often than not. In the attribute column, input the unique HKI attribute code as per the HKI guidelines. Note that this column is only relevant to diagnostics, such as x-rays, and will rarely be used. In the final column, force OCF 21B should only be used if you want to force an OCF 21B to be used for this specific fee code regardless of any other rules that may be in place. It's unlikely that you'll be using this column too. Step 5. The next tab that we'll be looking at is Diagnoses. Since AISI HKI submissions require the use of ICD-10 codes, you will need to manually input these codes per diagnosis if the item in the code column is not an ICD-10 code. It's unlikely that you will need to make changes in this tab. Oftentimes, clinics will have internal codes for their diagnostic codes so that they're easier to recognize at a glance. If this applies to your situation, simply double-click the AISI code and enter the corresponding ICD-10 code. Please note that our support department is happy to add your ICD-10 codes into Practice Perfect for you if they haven't been set up already. Step 6. The next tab we'll be looking at is Providers. There are four pieces of information that may need to be entered per provider. Begin by assigning the provider an AISI HKI type code. To do so, click the small black arrow and select the specialty that applies to the provider in question. In the unregulated number column, enter the provider's unregulated registration number. More often than not, this is left blank. In the hourly rate column, enter the provider's hourly rate. This column actually does not affect your billing information at all. It has no relevance to the financial aspect of the submission. This field may also be left blank. The last column is HKI Registry ID. Each of your providers will have been assigned a unique identification number by HKI. You won't be able to find this number anywhere on the HKI website, but you should be able to find it by pressing the search icon. Please note that the provider's name must be spelt the same in Practice Perfect as it is in the HKI database for this method to work. Furthermore, if the provider was delisted, and then relisted at a later date, there's a chance that their old number will be generated. Alternatively, you can download a list of your providers who have registered with HKI along with their HKI registry ID by selecting Export HKI Profiles in the bottom left hand corner of the panel. Upon clicking Export HKI Profiles, a total of three files will be generated. One contains information about your facility called HKI Facility, one contains information about your payers, called HKI Insurers, and the last one contains information about your providers, and it's called HKI Providers. These files should appear on your desktop by default. Please contact our support department if this function does not yield any results. Step 7. The last tab in the AISI HKI Invoice Settings panel is Payers. This portion of the setup is not required for your AISI payers, who you're submitting paper invoices to. The leftmost column includes the name of all your payers, immediately followed by the city that they are located in. Then, enter the insurer ID and branch ID as indicated. You will not be able to submit your invoices to HKI if these fields are left blank, or if they aren't an exact match with the HKI insurer profile. To obtain the insurer ID and branch ID, please refer to the document entitled HKI Insurers. Step 8. Please remember that you must have set the primary invoice style of your MVA payers to HKI Invoice during setup, but if your clinic prefers to submit paper invoices, please select AISI for their primary invoice style. Thanks for visiting. Be sure to head to practiceperfectemr.com for the rest of our Practice Perfect University tutorial videos.